Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm here with MTK promoter Lee Eaton. Quite a sombre mood this morning, Lee, with uh, the the positive right. test, positive test of Jazza Dickens and Denny yeah. Matthews. Um, just g- give me your thoughts on on what happened. I'm completely devastated. Um, obviously, Jazza Dickens, Ryan Walsh. Um, everyone's talking about this was one of the fights of the year. Um, they've done everything they can to get to the final of the golden contract, and then. Uh, it's been taken away from them. Uh, obviously, it'll be rescheduled, but at the minute, it's obviously it's been postponed. Um, we got the, obviously the test results at ten o'clock this morning. Um, straight away, Jazza was. We followed all the protocols. Had to do obviously the COVID and everything. Jazza was uh, had to leave the, the hotel immediately um, in full PPE, etc. Before anyone else could even move around the hotel, so everything's been done. We've followed every guideline, every board guideline, everything we've we've done we've done properly. Um, it's, just, it's just it's just deflating. Obviously, I went to see Ryan after um, in his hotel room, and he's just devastated. He was two ounces over the weight at the morning of the fight. Um, he said it's the best camp I've ever had, um, mentally and physically. So he was in the shape of his life. So uh, I'm de- obviously Jazza, this is Jazza's biggest fight of his career. So I just spoke with Jazza's manager Tony Bellew. Um, Bellew he just said that, that boy has put everything into this. I said, "Down, it's just been took out of everyone's hands." Um, but obviously the show goes on. We we need to do everything properly. We've taken extra precautions. We've done everything right. We need to do. Um, and now Tyrone McKenna versus Ahara Davis is still a massive fight and a fight that everybody wants to see. Um, it's a grudge match from four years ago. They've been calling each other out. Tyrone now. Um, so, listen, we've lost a great fight, but we've still got great fights. Serge Michelle versus Liam Conroy in the other semi final with the light heavies this is a great fight. Um, Stevie Wall looks phenomenal on the scales. At, um, still got a six pack, even still got a six pack at cruiserweight. <laughs> he, he, so twenty five pounds plus. Yeah, so he's put about twenty seven and a half pound on since his last fight, um, and he still looks absolutely ripped. So it's a, uh, Ben Fowl makes his professional debut, obviously, and Will Hamilton down to five fights. Every fight's on Sky, so it's great for the boys, but obviously just completely gutted for. MTK Global, Ryan, Walsh, Jazza Dickens team and Sky and just all the fans that wanted to see it. Uh, it was a massive, massive blow. But COVID, it's, it's, it is what it is. In America, they've been getting a fight pulled in every show. Mm. This is the first one in the UK. And just got it. It's, it's happened on that fight. But you've just got to do what you've got to do you've got to make sure that you follow every single guideline everything that you need to do and that's what we've done we've done that throughout um we just it's just gutting so it's, it's, it's worth noting that everyone else fighters uh every single else, per- trainer, every single they're, they're everyone else is negative around the show we're still yeah. following protocols with masks yeah. and stuff like that obviously um <coughs> A member of Jazz's team has been with him all week. His wife was with him as well, and they've all tested negative as well. So, obviously, he, it's just it's just very very odd. Mm-hmm. But it is what it is. God does things like that, doesn't he? Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Well, let's talk about the fights then. I want to talk about Tyler McKenna and uh, O'Hara Davis. We've done that face off that we yeah. did yesterday, um, but even at that way, and they would join each other a little bit. Yeah, like no, that, they so. just had a little pop at each other. Um, it's, it's a fantastic fight, isn't it? Obviously, Ahara Davis, he's just Ahara Davis. He's a character. <laughs> Tyrone's just a Tyrone. Tyrone's a bit of a massive character. <coughs> um, Ahara Davis got a lot of hate over the years, but if you actually knew him personally, he's actually a proper, a proper nice bloke. And he, he, he plays up to the camera, mm-hmm. which... 
it's what you should do, shouldn't you? To to get somewhere in in the, his boxing, you have to do things like that. So it's a great fight. Um, uh, people ask me last, been asking me who do I think I'm. I'm on the fence. I'm MTK, so MTK wins. But I just think it's a great fight, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and the best man to win on the night. Definitely. Um, obviously, we spoke about uh, Stephen Ward there moving up the cruiserweight. He's got a tough fight about Jonah mm. Falau. Um, but Leah, do you think that Serge Michel and Liam Conroy has gone under the radar with these Ryan Walsh and, very much so. and Jazzy very, Dickens? Very and thing, so, but now yeah. this one maybe have popped up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. may, may start Listen, taking Liam, notice. Liam Conroy is always in a good fight. Mm-hmm. Um, Serge Michel, ex Olympian, game as anything. So they've, they've got the. The winner of this fight is in the gold, is in golden contract final, uh, and fights for that contract. So they're going to be going, giving it their all. I think that possibly could steal the show, but I can't. I don't know. I don't think anything can steal the show from Ahara and Tyrone McKenna, because it's just. I think they're just going to absolutely hammer each other. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, that's a win-win for us and the yeah, fans exactly, watching. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So no, obviously it's, it's still a good show. Obviously we have lost a, an absolute phenomenal fight um, but it is what it is Co- Covid is like, obviously Covid is real and a lot of Covid like, like we were just talking it is a lot of common sense mm-hmm. um, using your common sense and stuff like that but listen it, nobody's invincible from it Jazza Dickens is not, not showing one symptom. He is fit as a fiddle, in the he best shape good. of his he life. Very good. He was on, on on weight, woke up on weight this morning, ready to go. And that's happened. So mm. He's symptomatic, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, it's, it's just... I know how MTK like to move fast. I know how they, they like to look after their fighters. It's not an injury for Jazza. So no, I mean, it's not. So, so Jazz is ready to go, but obviously he's working out due to obviously the contract and stuff like that, and uh, obviously the dates with Sky. It's not just oh we can throw him on the next show because that might not be able to happen because mm. obviously we have our contract with Sky for the obviously for the con- golden contract. Um, obviously Jazz is going to have to have a, a bit of time or a week or so off to obviously get. Obviously, he's not nothing symptoms there, but he's going to have to obviously have a week or so. Self isolate, isn't it? And yeah, we can't just be in. We can't just go straight into it. But the fight will be rescheduled, and listen, we will see that fight this year. Pretty confident of that. Well, that's that's good for us to. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's just a setback, mm-hmm. um, and obviously, setbacks make the way for a big, big, big comeback. Big comebacks. Yeah. I'll finish your sentence for you there. Go on, yeah, I've, see, I've, I've we spent too much time together. Stuttering again now. <laughs> no, no, it's like it's. Like, I know they're both fighting fit and they're both probably going to go back in yeah. the gym in two weeks' time, so there's not yeah. going to need a long training camp. So I'm, I'm no. pretty sure if you give them a date, they're going to be ready for that. Yeah, date. yeah, of course. Well, obviously, we'll speak with the team, we'll speak with everybody involved, and we'll get it done. But listen, the main thing is that obviously that everyone's health. Health, everybody, without your health, you're nothing. Mm-hmm. So everybody's got to make sure that they're healthy, and we're just going to carry on doing what we're doing. Um, Obviously, we've got a show October the 18th. We're, we're going to have to just be a bit... Not that we can be any stricter, because we followed... But again, it's not. It, it's come from his gym. He's yeah, come, it's yeah, not exactly. what we're doing, what NTK um, are doing here at this hotel. Yeah, exactly. It's come from his gym. Um, it, is, this, it is what it is at, at, at the end of the day. So, um, just guide for both of the boys. Mm-hmm. And guide for the whole team, because everyone's a bit deflated at the minute. But I'm sure... When fight night comes, we'll be ready to go. That's what I was going to say. One final word for the, the fans watching on Sky Sports. I mean, just and tune in and enjoy. Um, obviously, you got a couple of young talent on there. Obviously, Stephen Ward making his first fight cruiserweight semi-final with a golden contract. Uh, Liam Conroy versus Serge Michelle, and then you got the big one, WBC international title. Tyrone McKenna versus Ahara Davis. Bragging rights on this one. Bragging rights. They've been at each other for four years, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, tune in tune in definitely Lee, Lee, I won't keep you much longer mate I am um, going. well I think the food's been delivered to our room so let's go eat some food oh, and, lovely, uh, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> I'll speak to you soon my man cheers, cheers mate thanks, see you Lee. soon bye mate is your debt causing you sleepless nights knock your debt out with debt KO and your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night debt KO free impartial advice on all your debt